For the UMass Lowell track and field teams, the championship season is here. It starts this weekend with the America East Indoor Track and Field Championships at the Ocean Breeze Athletic Complex on Staten Island in New York City. For both the men and women, it's all part of the process, gaining experience in championship competition. A year ago, the men finished sixth, the women finished seventh. This year, both look to take a step forward. I think the kids have to learn to compete for the team. You know, so much of it during the year is chasing PRs and, and chasing individual accomplishments. And, you know, there's still a, definitely a, a factor of them feeding off each other during the year. But this is the one time of the year that we ask them to put aside all their personal goals and run what's best for, for the team. And I don't think we have a person in our team that won't do that um, for the team. So that's really what we're looking for, you know, this weekend and, and to compete hard. and. You know, I think 80 percent, you know, I was going through the list, probably 80 percent of our athletes are freshmen and sophomores. Um, you know, one of our goals for this year was was to be a more complete team and be competitive. And if you go down most of, if not all the events on both sides, we have somebody that can score in every single event. And, and that was goal number one when we started this process. So we're we're almost there. Championships such as these are not dependent upon an individual. Championships such as these are dependent upon depth. And depth is an area that this track and field team, these Riverhawks, are still working on. You know, part of that growth process is to have a little bit more depth. You know, and our depth, unfortunately, are freshmen and sophomores. You know, and you, they're not at that point yet where they're, you know, elite athletes inside the conference. And, you know, there aren't many freshmen and sophomores that are ever elite athletes inside you know, a competitive conference. So we're getting there slowly, and uh, so hopefully we, we have a good weekend and come out where we hope. Kirsten Darsney is a sophomore, a multi-event athlete, and a fierce competitor. And despite battling injuries, she will compete in several events. And she says it's all about scoring points for the team. This is definitely a different week for our team. This is when our whole team comes together, and we're all working for a common goal here. We're all trying to get points for the team so that we can place together as a team rather than just focusing on our individual events. It definitely is a lot more about the competition than your personal best. You know, you always want a personal best because if you get a personal best, you're more likely to place, but especially in like races and in field events, you're looking to beat the girl ahead of you. You're looking to scrape up as many points as possible. Of course, at the championship race, it's always about placing rather than time. So, you know, in the mile, I'm just going out to be in top three and hopefully come back and win it or get second place. This is Daniel Smith. He's a sophomore, a middle distance runner, and his name can be found on the performance lists in the top 10 in both the 1,000 meters and the mile. I love competing. It's more about being better than I was yesterday and being better every year. Um, so, you know, what really gets me going is not whether I beat anybody else, but if I can PR. But, you know, this race is all about the team and um, whatever the team needs me to do, I'll, I'll do it. It's all about mental toughness, especially as a distance runner. That's what separates, at the elite level, I feel like that's what separates the winners from the losers, is mental toughness. Are you mentally tough, you think? I'd like to think so. Overall, I really think probably mental toughness because you can have a day where you know you may have had really hard workouts that week and your body is just failing you but if you can keep your head straight and get whatever you can you get the best out of it i think that's really overall the best thing you can do for yourself you know it's certainly a different kind of competition but most of the kids we had on our team you know were kids that did well in the state meet did well in the league meet you know so they're used most of them are well used to competing you know, head to head with, with really good people. And, um, you know, some of them, it takes a little bit longer. You know, some of them aren't used to having 10 people in a race as good as them. You, you know, in, in high school, they're used to having one or two people in a race that are as good as them um, or in a field as good as them. So um, it's, it's a learning process for them. And, um, you know, we've taken some big steps from last year. You know, just you can look up and down the list and see that we have people, you know, competitive in every single event just about. And, and that's, that was our goal, you know, with the recruiting class we brought in last year, and I feel like we've accomplished, you know, almost all of that that we were hoping.